Hi friends, Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we have been discussing on MCP servers and in this video we will be discussing on Postgres MCP server. So we will see how can we query a database using natural language using this particular MCP server. Okay. So before going to the details, let me show you my database. Okay. So here I have my database and I have two, two tables are there. One is a user table and other is the order table. So in the user table, we can see it has a username, email address, first name, last name will be available and also create a date also available here in this table. Then we go back to the orders table and we can see that it has a order ID, user ID and order date and the total amount and status is also there in the order table. So this is a very simple table with minimum records. Okay. Then um, going back to our um, the Postgres MCP server, so we can, if you scroll down little bit, we can see all the necessary details are here. Um, they are mentioning about their features and here we can see the environment details that it need. Okay, so it need like um, Postgres URL and we, are, we can get directly give our connection string here or we can give username, password, host, port, etc. Database can be given here and different different environment options are available. So let me scroll it down a little bit. Okay, so okay so this is what we need okay so if you see here here we can see this is the configuration that we need to use and that we need to implement in our project okay so we'll see how can we implement that so as usual like first we will be creating a test application or test.py file then once this is working fine we will be creating a fast api and also we will be integrating with the stream tab okay so for this one first we can import few packages okay so from the mcp servers what we can do from dot client i can import lt server client then from pre-build we can import create react agent we can import load env here we can do the load env part okay then let's do a create a function i can use test uh, i can say post sql here i can mention print mm, testing mcp okay now we will create a client the same method that we have done earlier here i can create a multi-server client okay now let's copy from the from the github repo okay so this is what we need so let me copy it carefully so from here to here so copy and paste it here okay so instead of um, this uh, details individual details what I am going to use I am going to use um, the NDR connection string okay for that let me remove this let me go back to my notebook here I can already have my username and password and let me paste it here okay so this is the key will be let me check the key so everything is there in this github repo okay so this is the postgres url that we are going to key that we are going to use okay here i can give uh, postgres url and this is the url okay now after this we need to okay i'm checking the parenthesis okay curly breaks are correct after this we need to specify the transport so here the transport will be stdio i can say it will be stdio okay so now we are good now we can get the tools for that let me add a try exception as 
ex and here I can put in the ex okay now let me have the tools here to get the tool I can use await client dot get tools so this will return the tools here I can uh, say that okay you can say available okay available tools I'm just mentioning the tools available tools here now next step is we can create a agent using create react agent okay here I am passing uh, my model so the model will be I can say uh, use the GPT 40 can be used here okay then I can mention the tools here okay now we can invoke this agent I can say um, agent dot a invoke right now just pass the message here so here I can pass messages in between I'm checking the spelling also usually I will uh, make the uh, spell issues okay so here we can see the role so the role will be um, user and here the content I can say list list my list tables in the database database here I need to add the open and close bracket curly brackets here so let me add that also okay now we are good and I can print the result here I can print the result dot sorry result messages I can print the last one dot um, content I can do okay so now we are done with our coding okay now we can just uh, try it out we'll see this will work working or not so for that I can activate my environment so my env is in uh, part one part one i think the name is test env okay. here i can see activate part one test env is activated now i can run now I can go to my folder so my folder will be cd postgresql mcp and here I can run python test.py <coughs> let's see this will work or not now this will not work because I need to add the main method okay I think something went wrong okay here I can add if you can say name equal to equal to main right then I can say go dot run here I can misway the test sql let's add it as a function okay now let's run it so it says uh, testing the postgres sql mcp and here we can see the available tool here it says um, only one tool is available that is the query okay and here we can see uh, unable to infer model provider gpt for o because the spelling is not correct okay so this is gpt for o now let's run it again okay so this tool only provide one tool i mean this mcp server provides only one tool that is the query tool okay so here we can see it is actually giving me the uh, the tables that is uh, in my database that is user table and the order table okay so we are good now the testing the test application is our test file is working fine now we can create building the chat application okay for that i will be doing some copy and paste from my previous project okay so for that let me um, go to my streamlit tab so let me copy this okay here i'm going to create app.py app.py okay. 
so this is my app.py this is a simply a streamlit application here i am connecting to my fast api url which is 8080 slash chat now what i need i need to create a main.py okay so this is my fast api application this is also i will be doing some copy and paste so let me do okay copy and paste here okay going to close let me open this main.py okay so this is my fast api okay. here in the startup i'm going to define my client and my agent here okay so let me remove this my old files okay so this is the mcp server so what i'm going to do i'm copy the mcp server information from here from my test file okay so i'm copy and i'm paste it here let me make it little arrangement so now we are good so just go through this code okay i have gone through this call multiple times but again if anybody is watching this first time i'm just going through this is just a fast api okay so here we can see in the startup i am um, i am creating a client that is a mcp client just like that we have did in our test.py file okay here i am um, creating an agent just like in the test.py file okay so i have a endpoint that is a chat endpoint in the chat endpoint i will be getting the input from the user okay so based on the input i am invoking the agent and the response is sent back to the user okay so let me run this and we will see how this works okay so first i need to run uvcon main app i can specify the port as 8080 so let me run this one so the fast api is if you find now let me add one more terminal okay here um, i can go to my folder okay now i can run streamlit run app.py so this is my streamlit application okay so this is opening in safari and this is giving error in safari so i used to open this in chrome okay so the chrome it is working fine now i can chat with my mcp server i'm just giving hi and here i am saying that give me uh, table details please specify the name of the table that you would like to know i need all the table names in the database let me see Okay, seems to be working. That's why it's taking some time. Okay, so it's giving me um, database containing the following table that is a users table and the order table. Okay, give me users table data. <clears throat> Maybe I need to specify some user information which will make uh, more faster okay so this can be okay here i think the result is already here okay see here we can see the user information it says um user id john doe email address is there all the details are there okay so i can say give me order details of uh, i can say john doe John Doe. We can check this one. So John Doe is the first user. I, I believe he has two orders. We'll see. Okay, let me go back to my table and I can check. Uh, John Doe is the user ID one, and for for user ID one, there is two tables are there. Okay. 
it seems that there is an issue with the retrieve the details from the order table as it is structured or the existence is not clear okay so it is uh, give me order details of John Doe from orders table. I'm just giving more specific things. So this may require some fine tuning, but again, let's see. Hopefully this will give result. So you guys can also install the, uh, the PostgreSQL and uh, uh, try to use this and uh, Maybe you can fine tune it a little bit, add more prompt and uh, extra information will make this work very easily. Also, you guys can add some kind of a memory to the chat board. Okay. Okay. So here it's giving the details. The order ID is there and the amount is there. So everything it is giving. So some kind of a fine tuning is needed, but again, like this is working really good. So you guys can start using this MCP server. Okay. So that is all about in this video. So please do like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.